Hello, I am Nimcha, and this is Boo. This file isn't what you think. Rather, it is an introduction into a type of induction called shock inductions. A simple startle can be a very effective way of surprising someone opening their thoughts up for a suggestion in the brief moment between the startle and the realization that everything is okay. You might have noticed this yourself. When you accidentally or intentionally scare someone, there is a moment of fright and a second or two before they return back to realize that it was not that important after all. In that moment, the brain is actively seeking for an explanation. Whenever something unexpected happens, our biological mind has learned that quickly reacting is essential to survival. Most of the time, that isn't the case for us anymore. Our lives are quite comfortable. As such, a little surprise, while startling, can be really nice. There are multiple ways to do shock inductions. Touch, for example, is very effective. Tapping someone on the shoulder when they don't expect it can have them jump a little or be surprised. The classic boo is just as well known as a method of interrupting someone's thoughts with a sudden fear or scare. But it fades quickly. And that's the point. A shock induction is an interruption of their thoughts. And those interruptions can come in many ways. For example, people who listen to hypnosis audios have generally associated finger snaps with a similar kind of interruption. When a finger snap happens, part of their mind is called to attention, wondering if there is a suggestion, maybe to drop into trance or to listen, focus, or something else relevant to the situation. Now, if you prepare someone for a shock, it can still work as long as it isn't timed. If you count down, the person knows what is going to happen. And it's not shocking anymore. It can still have an effect, but it is a different one. You can also interrupt counts, which could work. But when you say that, people expect the interruption. Ten. Maybe the countdown just ends. There could be an unexpected snap when the one or the drop would have been. But now you're expecting that too. So how does it work with shocks and expectations? Is there a perfect moment to interrupt? Is there a build-up of curiosity that allows a sudden moment to surprise. See, when you have a pause in expectation, the brain tends to fill in the various options that there are. I could snap my fingers, I could say, well, a few words actually that would have a 
similarly shocking effect. Or I could just keep talking as if everything is normal. Which one would be the most fun? Or are these longer breaks kind of frustrating? A shock induction and interruption of your thoughts is also a really nice way to go from a waking state into a trance state quite suddenly. Because of the interrupt, the surprise, the suggestion to drop afterwards arrives just at the right time. Generally speaking, you want that surprise to not match the timing of the words that helps them fall deep, but delay that with about one second or so. I will show you. As the listener, you will get to experience a shock. However, not yet. I will show you later because if you are too prepared, you might see it coming. And if you see it coming, it's not exactly shocking, is it? It's like noticing someone that's trying to sneak up on you. And you can tell what they're going to do. You're almost waiting for it, rolling your eyes like, yes, yes, now you're going to try and scare me. And if that happens, it doesn't have the same intensity as when you're truly surprised. So, it's much more fun to aim for an actual surprise. And I wonder when that would be. I could snap my fingers at any moment. Or maybe not. Let you wait even longer. <laughs> then again, if I told you that you've waited long enough, you would know that Whatever is coming, is coming soon. But if I tell you that it will take a while and then do it, you would probably expect that kind of play too. I could keep it vague and just say it will happen at some point, between now and the end of the file, which it should. But when is the end? Of course, you could look at the time, but it's more fun to let yourself guess how long it has been. Has it been five minutes? Ten? Less? More? How long has it been since we began? How focused are you on my words? Are you paying attention or distracted? Well, that's what I thought, but it's all right. When I ask this, you will pay more attention, won't you? Hmm. But if you are paying attention, would the startle still be a startling? I suppose we will find out. Draw. Now, and that nice feeling of a simple sensation spreading through your body, a wonderful surprise helping you to drift deeper. All the build-up helps you to feel it even more, and that's what makes it special. Of course, it's much easier to do this when there's a direct interaction. Are you taking it for granted or are you being alert? Are you awake, 
listening and noticing that there is a change in your mind right now as you shift back from the surprise into a more normal waking state. And then the real question is, did it take you by surprise? What about the next time you listen? Will you try to remember each and every word or will you get caught up disentangling the different directions in which I take your mind? Are you looking forward or looking around you, trying to figure out if I'm sneaking up on you? But how can I, when you can hear me talk? Well, the sound is the same, there's no direction. It's as if my voice is inside your mind instead of outside, or is it? Where would my voice be coming from? If you figure it out, maybe you'll be more alert, and you wouldn't be surprised by a simple boo, and feel a smile. A simple shock, a small one, can also lead into a really nice surprise. The aim is not to scare, but to startle. In the end, the relaxation that follows, the relief when you realize that it's all okay, is what makes it so nice. And thank you so much for paying attention. I'm sure it was distracting at times and tempting to look at something else, but there were definitely moments when your mind was focused, draw, and listened. Now at other times, synchronizing the two can also be nice. But then it's more like a punctuation, a drop, if you will. And in a moment, when I count you back up, you'll feel the relief of knowing that it was all just for fun. One, two, slowly waking, three, four, more aware, Five, six, almost there. Seven, eight, almost awake. And nine, ten. Boo, draw. Very well done. And let yourself relax beautifully. Your mind just drifting away as the relief spreads even more. And this time when I count you back up, I'm sure you will smile. One, two, slowly waking. Three, four, more aware. Five, six, almost there. Seven, eight, almost awake. And nine, ten, awake. And thank you for listening. Have fun.